All right. Yes, we are finally control. For the um, for the controls, you use uh, the trigger to move around. You use uh, A to fire, which is a little weird. I had to get used to that. If you hold down R, you can manually aim. L allows you to lock on to different targets. B allows you to jump. Y fires a missile. You start off with 15. Press X to turn into a morph ball. And then you can press A in morph ball mode to lay a morph bomb. Obviously, if you're on top of a morph bomb while you... Uh, are in morph form, uh, you will jump up a little bit, and... Oh yeah, look at that double bomb jumping. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Um, more controls will be added on later. Oh yeah, the D-pad will change your visors, and right now we have two. We have the scan visor, which allows you to scan these little targets. Stuff like this, and then stuff like that. Basically, anytime you see that... Let me scoot back a bit. Whenever you see a symbol like that, you can scan it. Now, red symbols are necessary, or... Well, the thing is, you have a logbook, which I'll go over in the start menu. Um, Combat Visor basically allows you to fight. Um, in the upper left-hand corner, I'll get to the scanning in a little bit. In the upper left-hand corner, you have a radar, so if you have an enemy nearby, there will be an orange dot on there. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see a small form of the map. Press Z to pull up the map, and if you want to get spoilerific, you can press Y to show you the key. The only problem is they show you all of the different beam weapons you'll be getting in the game, which if you played through Super Metroid, you should be familiar with those weapons. Um, and obviously at the very top of the screen, you have your energy. Um, we start out with only 99. Excuse me. Over on the right, you can see um, a meter with your amount of missiles. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you your total, not yet. That happens in Prime 2. And over to the left, you have an environmental warning meter. I'll get to that when we actually have a warning. Now, press Start Pause to well, pause. You can see we're already armed with the Power Beam, the Morph Ball and Morph Bomb, the various suits, the Scan and Combat Visor, along with the Grappling Beam, which we'll be getting to those controls in a bit, the Charge Beam, which I forgot to mention. You hold down A and release it to fire. Um... Press R from this main screen to go to your logbook. From here, you can access the multiple scans and treasures in the game. Um, that thing in the middle is what I'm talking about when I say treasures. We'll be adding stuff to this, but basically, there are multiple areas of scans that are... I'll be aiming for 100% important scans, not all scans. 100% important scans, meaning pirate data, Chozo lore, creature logs, research logs, and the artifact logs, which we'll be getting to all of that stuff in the future. Press R again to go to your uh, uh, options, which I'm going to mess around with this. The visor opacity basically is um, the HUD. The heads-up display, the helmet opacity is like the rounded parts at the top and bottom of the screen. HUD lag, basically when you turn around, the HUD will turn a little bit after you. I hate that. Hint system off. And, alright, let me make sure that's saved, alright. Display the screen brightness, we need it to be a little brighter for me. The X offset, just a little bit like so. Don't mess with this stuff if you don't know what you're doing, by the way. Restore defaults because I screwed up on the Y offset. Screen stretch. Ah, that's so funny. Alright, sound. We want the music volume to be less than the sound effects volume, which we'll be finding out why later. Yes, stereo. Controller. Rumble on. Reverse Y axis off. Basically, if you reverse the Y axis, if you press, if you aim up, if you press up when you're aiming, you'll aim down, and if you aim down, you'll aim up. I call it airplane controls, I don't remember why. Um, swap beam controls. Basically, if you have this on, it'll swap your beam controls, so that way, you, instead of using C to switch between beam weapons, which we only have one for the time being, but when you have more than one, you press C to switch with the visors when you have swap beam controls on, and D-pad to use the beam weapons. And then you can quit the game.